sort it all out, Fox News Senior Judicial Analyst, Judge Andrew Napolitano. Judge, good to see you. Good morning. It is pretty extraordinary that Grassley would say the FBI may very well leak it. Look, everybody that's involved in law enforcement knows that sometimes law enforcement improperly and illegally leaks information to the, to the press uh, in order to affect the public perception of their case against the defendant. Sometimes it's to affect uh, a jury pool. Sometimes it's to, it's to stir the pot. Sometimes these are bona fide whistleblowers. Sometimes these are people frustrated by their superiors. But it is highly unusual for the chair of the Senate Judiciary Committee to anticipate the need for an FBI leaking like this and to suggest that it would be wise for it to happen. Now, there is a caveat in here. He did say, I'm not asking the FBI to do it because it's a crime to leak this kind of information and the FBI knows it. But he would not be surprised if FBI agents who truly believe that there is enough evidence to indict Mrs. Clinton and to convict her on both the email charge and the public corruption charge will feel frustrated and stymied by the police political people in the Justice Department and will want the public to know what they know if that class of people be more than one person leaks information to the press. I agree with Senator Grassley. If there is a leak and if what is leaked is credible and, and let's face it what is already publicly known is credible that the president could have a, a Saturday night massacre, Watergate-style disaster on his hands in the last six months of his presidency. The whole idea of this suggests that people are expecting politics to get in the way. The whole idea of this suggests that either President Obama is somehow telling somebody or one of his people telling the State Department or the, or the FBI lay off Hillary ahead of the election. I mean, that's Look, what they suggest. Uh, you know, uh, when, when Chris Wallace interviewed uh, the president, it was a dynamite interview, and the president should not have asked some of Chris's questions. The questions were terrific and appropriate. But the president is involved in this. How is right. the president involved? Some of the top secret emails, top secret, on her server were sent to her by him. So the president has a stake in this. He does not want this case to be tried. Right. He did insist to Chris politics would not be involved. Many years ago, a good friend of our boss, Roger Ailes, a, a now deceased columnist for the New York Times, Bill Sapphire, coined a phrase for the Justice Department. You'll like this. The Department of Political Justice. No matter who's running the Justice Department, there's a branch in there called the Department of Political Justice, which will stop the indictments of people they don't want indicted. That's what the FBI is running up wow. against. Uh, you know, can, can we come back to these Grassley comments? They, they struck me as a little on the vague side. Do you think he knows something? In other words, do you think he knows that there are FBI agents who are frustrated with the way this investigation is going and who want to leak something? Or is he just kind of speculating and playing politics himself and saying, hey, this better come out if, yeah, the, if the top question. people... It's a great question. I don't know what he knows, but I do know that it is generally known in Washington that the same team of FBI agents that investigated and led to the prosecution of General Petraeus is investigating Mrs. Clinton. And many on that team believe that General Petraeus got a slap on ah, the wrist. There you go. And because the evidence in Mrs. Clinton's case yep. is exponentially greater, mm. they do not want to see this happen again. Yeah. Can she survive a slap on the wrist? I don't think she can survive any kind of uh, charge against her, even if they let her plead the FBI, to what's called yeah. an information, which is an agreement to, to plead to something. It's technically an indictment. I don't think she can survive that and stay as a political candidate. I also don't think she could survive the leakage of enough information that causes neutral observers to say, why wasn't she indicted? Yeah, exactly. I don't think she can politically I survive I, that. I'll tell you where I disagree with FBI Director Comey when he says there is no deadline. That's not fair to the American people. No, it's That's not. not fair That's to right. registered Democrats. That's a great right. point. They yeah. have resources. Comey's got unlimited resources. So wait. He's the director. He exactly. can say, I want everyone working on this. He has to say before the convention, this is a candidate it's, you guys can have. I and totally if you agree. You have to pick another Democrat because she's going to be uh, I think, you're that's I think not you're fair right. to the people. I totally agree it's with that. It's not fair to the Democrats. It's not fair to the, America, to the American public. Uh, no one knows what his deadline is. Last October, 
last October, he led us to believe January. In January, he led us to believe May. May is a week from today. I know. So I, I really don't know. But we do know he, that they he are... He did say he wanted to be wrapped up by the end of May. Correct. We do know that they are nearing the end of their investigation. And we know it because they have called in her five closest aides, the same five people that are about to be deposed in the Freedom of Information Act uh, case. And the last step in this investigation will be to invite Mrs. Clinton in. She says she can't wait to talk to them. Probably not true. Nobody being investigated no, by the no, FBI no, no, can't no. wait to talk to them. Can't wait but to but she them. has she has a Hobson's choice. She has the politically safe thing to do, which is to go in. But that's legally treacherous for her to go in and, and expose so, you know, herself. I would, to I them. would never allow my client under the circumstances to go in as a as a criminal. You don't want them to say anything that of they course, will. Nothing at all. I, I'm not going to help I their don't. investigation at all. But as a politician, if she says no, I'm not going to cooperate. And she, you know, that in and of itself is a statement. I don't statement. see how this advantage in an election year, especially in an election year with so much at stake and with the Republican Party in so much turmoil. How, how does this Justice Department then there will be a, a leak. case like this? Right. Well, I, I don't know what you mean, advance it, Me meaning you don't think there will be an indictment. Indict. But, you know, there are people the in the FBI. So well, there are people in the FBI, and, and unfortunately for Mrs. Clinton, she's in the hands of these people who are absolutely apolitical, particularly the national security team, the same team that investigated uh, General Petraeus. They couldn't care less about the politics of the country. Their job is to investigate violations of criminal law, or in this case, breaches of, of national security. And they don't care about timing. They don't care about politics. They don't care, care about politicians. They honestly don't even care about their boss. They care about the Constitution and the security of the nation. And that's where there'll be resignations if they don't get, if there's something there and they don't get what they want. There is a theory that Comey himself if he pushes aggressively for uh, in a, in a presenting this evidence to a grand jury and is rebuffed by his bosses, will lead the resignations. Mm -hmm. Then the president has a Saturday Night Massacre on his And his yeah. boss would be the Attorney General of the United States of America, Loretta yes. Lynch. Yes, yes. So, I mean, she would have to yes. be the one. If Comey comes another, in, look, another, another Brooklyn. Another Brooklyn. If Comey comes in to, to the Attorney General and says, look, here's all the evidence. We have enough for an indictment. Let's yeah. go in. And she says, no. Then comes, the then, then comes the leak. Then comes the leak. Judge, good to see you. Thanks for explaining Pleasure, it all, guys. Judge Napolitano all the there.